Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Vagante. We're going to be playing a random run. We played a random run last time and it worked out pretty well. I, I, I enjoyed the random run that I did because you get access to a whole bunch of random classes. You can have an alchemist archer or a wildling with a dog. I actually don't know if you can have a random dog. I hope you can random a dog because otherwise, what are you doing with your life? We'll random whoever we are now and let's jump back into the, the Vagante dungeon here. I have a scroll. I am a cursed adherent. Adherents to the Shackled are blessed with more opportunities to embrace cursedness. Ugh. Animal. I do like that bear stomp. It is pretty good. I looked it up. Apparently this one, the wolf sprint, makes you invincible while you're running. Alchemy is really nice. Angel is really good as well. That holy light does a lot of damage. And archery is good too. I really like all of these abilities. We can't even unlock all of them over the course of a run, I think. But these are really nice stats to have. The only thing I'm not quite certain about is Cursed Adherent. I don't know Cursed in this game. I don't understand why you would want to be Cursed or have Cursed equipment or if there's a benefit to having cursed equipment. Legitimately, I do not understand uh, what to look for there. Yeah, you hit me. Oh, I didn't think you would live through the second hit though. Another thing I'm gonna do real quick. Is, oh, go ahead and, oh, I freaking dropped it. Don't pick it up. Another thing I'm gonna do real quick. I feel like the game was a little quiet last time. I played it. I'd like to make it a little bit louder just so that people can hear that wonderful music. Especially that wonderful music. Maybe I'll, um... Bring. I like that you can actually hear the music. You can crank it up all the way to full, but that's probably too much. No, that seems okay. Nope. I refuse. I think I'll probably go with the um, potion identification immediately. That way we can just always spend our identify scrolls trying to identify, I guess, cursed equipment is my guess. Music might be a little bit loud on the boss fight, but we'll, uh, well, we'll see when we get there, right? Boom. Oh God, come on. Go. Peasant shoes. Friend. Damage reflection bouncy. Really don't like bouncy on my boots. I'm wondering exactly what it means by more opportunities. Do you think there's gonna be more shackled shrines or more cursed equipment showing up on a run? Because what the shackled shrine does, let's, let's talk about this for a, a quick little second here. What the Shackled Shrine does is it gives you... I should really fight you down here in the water, I think. The shack Shackled Shrine gives you a... Um, sorry, I'm, I'm fighting the boss right now. Looks like he can still hit me with the fire in the water, but it doesn't actually do the DOT. Anyways, okay, <laughs> Shackled Shrine. What it does is if you give it a piece of cursed equipment, it will make that cursed equipment ultra cursed. And that ultra curse can never be removed. So you can make equipment that's really, really good. Weird but you can never ever remove it for a whole run, which means you can't like swap it out for something that has more damage resistances. You're basically just forced to use that forever. Very interesting. I've never interacted with that mechanic like at all. So it seems a little scary to me personally, but maybe it is worth it. Maybe I need to give it a shot and actually try to get some like freaking curses going on here, you know? All right, what is our book by the way? 
flame pillar. Wouldn't have helped too much against that boss, I don't think. So I'm very worried about actually, like, equipping anything. And there was no shackled shrine here, so I think I'm just gonna leave. And even though I left, that was a pretty good floor. Heal up. Level up. Alchemy. I don't need to, like, have the other alchemy stats. Even just identifying potions is so helpful. Potion of defense. Fire resists. Drink that one. Strength, drink that one. Kingly dagger. Burning, intelligence, and speed. We'll equip that. It's better than the freaking copper sword. Good. And it burns! I saw it. I don't know what's shaking the screen, though. That is definitely a new one for me. That's probably not. I just don't know, remember what it is, let's be honest. I need a bow. I mean, we, we have archer stats. Well, skills more like it. So I would like the ability to... Actually equip a bow at some point. Magic Rod! There's some interesting things with Magic Rods. I think I undervalue those. I have been trying to value them more recently, but... They are a little slow unless you have the rod skill set. Ah, it's the worm boss. There he is. Oh no, he's coming. He is pretty annoying though, let's be honest. Good. I don't know, Flame Pillar would probably be very good against the worm, so if we find him up in a wall, we should just burn him immediately. Nidra says, magic rods are too weird for me. I, like, I understand how to use them. They're just slow because you do have to hold them and charge them and then hit an enemy to recharge them. And it's a, it's a whole process. I like the fact that the mage has synergies, like you get to actually cast your spell immediately. That's real nice, and it makes the rods actually worth it. But if you don't have that kind of like combo, I can't figure out why I'd ever want to use a uh, a rod when I can just use a different weapon. Hello, friend. Um, you're not gonna die to that. shop at some point, too. Um, come here. Oh, there they are. Hello. Completely broke his AI. <laughs> He's like, what do I do? There's the rat. Hello, rat. You know what we could do? We could throw the fairy into the bloody. But you know what? I don't know if it's worth it. The extra healing you get? Over the course of a run, that's actually, like, a lot of healing. So I've got to be honest, I'm tempted just to always basically be, uh... ...returning her to the campsite. I was kind of hoping that maybe I could get, like, an achievement for putting her in the campsite. Well, getting all the... the... people to the campsite, that does not seem to be the case, unfortunately. Come here, worm. Yeah, it seems like it'll be very effective. I like fighting worm boss because you can cheese the heck out of him. There you go. I guess it's not really cheesing, it's just understanding the pattern, but it's a really easy pattern. So it feels like cheesing. Go. 
And we're pretty much done. A little bit left to explore. I need to do this down. RT, thank you. Well, guess I didn't need it. Larry Jr. lols is Harrison. He is kind of a little bit of a Larry Jr. wannabe, isn't he? Oh! I forgot to grab. Hey, come here. Well, I'll definitely do this once. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's worth it to, uh... to throw her into the bloody. Because if you throw her into the bloody, you get uh, one of every stat, I think. I mean, it's good, but... I kinda just want the healing. At least I feel like I want the healing. I'm very wary about equipping anything. <laughs> Because I know if I equip something, there's a good chance it might be cursed. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, can't grab that. Cool. Nothing here. All right. Well, we've done the whole floor. We've got the fairy. We've got the rat. Uh, pick you up. Pick you up. And we're definitely going to go to, you know, alt path route. So let's do it. You get cursed synergy, says Harrison. I have no idea. I will be honest. How does this work? Right trigger, then up. I don't really understand how the curses work if there's synergies for them. I, I don't really interact with that mechanic when I play Vagante, so that's kind of a new one for me. No fall damage, archery, animal. Intimidating Roar. Give me Animal because that Bear Stomp is really nice. And I might equip things and then just use, hopefully, a... Uh... Well, check this out. Hopefully a Scroll of Uncurse. That's a Scroll of Enchant. And a Teleport. And a Magic Mapping. You know what? If I don't have a scroll of uncurse, let's just use this. To identify one of the pieces of equipment we have and to see whether or not it's actually going to be cursed. Now, what does high jump cursed mean? I don't know. I think it means you're more susceptible to fall damage. So that angel path might have been kind of nice to take. At least you don't take fall damage from that height, which would have been really bad. What does the equal sign mean on the minimap? Uh, it might have been an E, and it might have just stood for exit. I would have to see it again. Yeah, you gotta be very aggressive here. I um, hate to do this, but this is gonna be like an A-B test. I feel like that's a little loud. I feel like I wanted the music to be a little bit louder. Not that loud. Yeah, that, see, that's the problem with taking a lot of damage from falling. Because you take a lot of damage when you fall. Oh my god, he does a little bit of a rush, doesn't he? Come here. Okay, let's try not to get killed by this jerk. We're doing more damage than you might think because we do have burn. There we go. Can't let those mages spawn anything. It's annoying as heck. I do like that. 
ever you feel like you need a little bit of extra range. Monster tooth. Gotta be careful about that one. Just use it as an interrupt. Old hood. Who knows? Ooh, another spell. More eloquence? I assume it is made better. You can charge it now. Seems like it has a little bit of a longer ra range, too. Okay, um, you're trying to steal my money. Hi, right, what's going on? Oh! Piece of garbage. Hey. My dude's having a bit of a hard time. <laughs> he really just didn't know where to go. He's like, I can't grapple onto the walls like you. How do I get over there? Um, I guess you have to have a really high jump, huh? Okay, well. Maybe you let him spawn enemies and then you bounce on the enemies? Seems weird. Well. I guess we will fight. All right, the party here. Magic missiles? Eh, I mean, why not, right? Scroll of magic mapping, teleport, enchant. Now, I think you can enchant cursed items to make them no longer cursed, but this cursed item at least doesn't seem to be doing too much bad for us, so. let you do your thing for a second. This guy's very annoying with his teleportation. I can't... I see the shrine of the shackled. I also can't get up there. Oh my god, he also hits so freaking hard. I don't know what the tell is for when he's gonna hit you with his AoE explosion. Like, he teleports next to you, and if, if he's rubbing his hands together, you don't hit him? Is that how it works? Like, I think I don't hit him there. I think if I hit him there, I'll get hit. Until he goes into like phase two and start like right there, yeah. I guess if he's rubbing his hands together, you don't want to hit him. You hit him, you're gonna be in for a bad time, I guess. Now he's gonna do his teleporting nonsense. Yeah, okay. Figuring it out, slowly but surely, maybe. Equal sign. What does the equal sign mean? Oh, uh, on the right, that's a chest. That's the equal sign. There's an E for exit, and I don't know why B is the I am opening door, but apparently, apparently the bottom left is where we entered. The bottom right is where we leave. I don't know why the bottom left is a eight <laughs> or a B. I haven't figured that one out yet. But I can open up the chest. Canny highwayman boots. Swim like a fish. Dexterity, vitality, speed, intelligence, poison resist. Okay, I would like to equip that one day. Poison resistance will take. Those are going to be very helpful for the next rune that we pick up. B for back. Well, you can't really go back though, but maybe. Uh... Think if there's any way to get up there. Okay, screw you, video game. <laughs> what the hell happened? It just teleported me out into the middle of nowhere and got me seriously injured. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna leave. 
I still don't know how to get up here to see what's hanging out over here. You know what? Here's what we can do. Fantastic. Just get me out of here. That'll be a mystery for another day. <laughs> All right, we got a level. Yes, give me my animal stomp, please. What a rude teleport pad. The thing is, is that there's several different pads in that area, and some of them are teleports, some of them just burn you, and I don't know what the difference is between them, like what they look like, visually speaking. So I don't know how to... Nice. I don't know how to specifically uh, land on the teleport pads as opposed to the non-teleport pads, but also it did just throw me up into the sky and got me seriously injured. Intelligence and fire resistance. I might buy that for the fire resist. But I also don't know what I have equipped right now because I'm having a hard time wanting to identify anything. And I don't want to identify anything. We have a couple of potions of regen. Might just want to pop one of those immediately. I think I will. Considering the damage we took on the last area. No! Okay, the chicken lived. Maybe I should have dodged the arrow. Like this piece of garbage is. Okay. Are you... What the hell? <laughs> F off! Get away from me. Oh, it's you. Uh, I think we just gotta go in. I mean, that seems like a very good defensive measure for these things. that ability. You kind of get locked in place when you're casting. All right. Well, we lived. The chicken lived too, which was another important part of this conversation. I seriously have like no scrolls of identification right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Hey. That's a chicken. Let's go explore all the way down here and see what we get. Well, I guess we can probably. Wow, you really do take fall damage uh, from a low height with these boots on. <laughs> I'm sorry, a wand of healing? tool which conjures magical healing orbs but it's cursed which means if I ever equip it there it has to be more cursed equipment if I equip this I can't unequip it please be well if it's a scroll of uncurse I don't want to pop it we can enchant it okay it's the wand of healing of speed <laughs> lovely Oh my god, actual, honest-to-goodness healing on demand. Doesn't heal for much. I'll take it, though. Let's go. And if we get a um, scroll of regen, we can just put that on this and then continuously get more healing out of it. Mr. Clark Nova, welcome. How do you feel about playing the Risk of Rain games? Like, a, more of playing those? When does the Risk of Rain 1 remake come out? I remember hearing a lot of people being excited about that, 
and then I kind of stopped hearing anything about it. So when does that remake come out? When do we all get to play it? You're talking about more Risk of Rain 2. I have been thinking about multiplayer games at some point and playing more of them, so that might be on the, uh, on the horizon, you never know. I think we're done. Uh, I, I honestly want... Well, first of all, to kill you. I'll use... I'm surprised it didn't hit, hurt me, honestly. I'm gonna use everything I have. Bird amulet. Dude, I really... I'm so scared about equipping anything. But I will take these because they're not cursed, I guess. Hello. Thank you. You know what? What is this? Uncursed scroll. Okay. So we have actual high jump boots that aren't bad, but we can also replace them with swim like a fish, which would will be nice later. Dexterity, vitality, speed, intelligence, poison resist. Hmm. More vitality is nice, but... High jump does help me to maneuver, which I like. It's also poison resist. If we find another one of those uncursed scrolls, we can actually start doing more uncursing, or more, I guess, experimentation with our current loadout and equipment. There's a shackled shrine. The thing is, is that I don't really want to god curse anything. I think that's the phrase. I mean, let me show you. Find thyself and serve me, Traveler's Tunic. So I have not identified this yet. I am not going to equip it until I identify it. Regen speed, night gauntlets. This is your speed button, we'll just equip that. Where's these gauntlets? Did I not pick them up? Where'd they go? Hold on, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Rod, page gloves, peasant shoes, shiny priest robes, which is currently equipped. Hammer. Oh, greaves. It was not gauntlets. I misunderstood. Floor phasing. Also, when fire resists, we can at least hold on to those for a while. Floor phasing, maybe we can use that to our advantage at some point. Sturdy vitality, speed, intelligence, poison. <sighs> Move on. Uh, interact while holding left or right to roll. Ascend. Eh, let's do the no fall damage. We should have had that earlier, but we'll take it now. Force two. Gotta remember I don't jump as high anymore. So, gotta hold the button down a little bit longer. Uncanny short bow. Translucent broad sword. Poison lower strength, but fairy magic. Increased chance of finding magic items. Intelligence fire resist. It's tough because I would want a bow, but the ring is pretty nice. Fire resistance. Maybe we'll take a minute and we'll look at the level, because if we don't find a bow on this level, I might just want to grab that. We gotta think. We gotta kill an another horrible boss enemy later. Well, goodbye! <laughs> Hopefully you don't take fall damage like me! Why do I feel like there's a boss down here? Oh, because he's down here. Look at that. I hate this. And don't forget I have this. I told myself. <laughs> Poison. Get out of there! Okay. He's not aggroed yet. Hey. 
Okay, I mean, that was a classic little one-two punch there. I gotta acknowledge, you did a good, you did a fine job. Oh my god! You know, I, I honestly thought that this critter, aka the fairy, would be trapped. They do not actually seem trapped. And by trapped, I mean uh, being carried by a dude. Okay, you suck. Just like, I hate you, but you give me healing in the future, so I'm going to take you with me. You're annoying to pick up, though. I'm gonna be honest. All right, well. I have three scrolls of magic mapping. Tend to get a lot of those and not too many uncursed scrolls, unfortunately. It's gonna be a bit of a harder fight against him than I'm used to. Uh, he, he's running over things, which I really like. Dagger. The potion of regen. <laughs> Freaking archers fell down from the sky! Okay, well, use a potion. My chicken over here. Hopefully they got crushed. They did not get crushed. This is a terrible background. I very much am disliking this background of, hey, it's, you're too scared to actually equip anything. At least I am. This way? No. Eloquence really does seem like the best way of getting him. You don't have to be... Because he's got a lot of really... F oh god, fast attacks that come out. Lightning? Sorry, not lightning. Uh, shockwave attack is really fast and comes out. He throws things pretty quickly. It's really hard to dodge. Healing wasn't fast enough. All right, well, uh, there's a run. So let's see what we had. We had uh, God Cursed Repulsive Traveler's Tunic. You can never unequip it. Uh, we had Cursed Wooden Club, Cursed Page Gloves, Cursed Stinking Animal Skin. So uh, I'm realizing Soul of an Evil Familiar, Soul of an Evil Familiar. Literally every item is cursed. I hate that. <laughs> I'm not good enough at Vagante, and I don't understand enough to actually know how to work around literally every item being cursed. If you equip it, you can't get rid of it. Well, the god cursed ones at least, so. Yeah, this is very weird um, and unusual. Stop hitting my corpse, it's very rude. Five deaths to Mushroom Golem. <laughs> 